All right. I don't know why I have this book. This is Paul Thurberry's Alphabet. So, here we go. A is for awesome. Um, as you can see, the artist here has used like exclamation type marks around here to give like a vibrant type of feel and whatnot. And then it's got like, I don't know why it's got this, like a little mwah, like Italian sign. I haven't quite worked out. Yeah, and it's got like stars and shit. And the kid's happy. Um, B is for bounce. So like, I was like bouncy balls and stuff like that. But the thing I can't work out, I reckon this guy's done a bit of plagiarism because if I get my Nike Air Force Ones here, and look at the back, look. So obviously this means Nike Air Force One. So yeah, kind of caught him out there. Um, C um, uh, is for catch. Now, I, I got a bit confused because I saw a soccer ball straight away. And if you play soccer, the first rule you know is you're not allowed to like touch the ball with your hands unless you're a goalkeeper. And then I forgave him because there's a net here. So, hence, that must be the goalkeeper's hands. So, um, that's all good. Okay, now we're up to D and um, it's dog. Um, not sh more so about dog. Um, it's pretty good actually, I don't mind it. Um, it looks a bit fat, to be honest. Um, kind of uh, got some biscuits here, maybe you should not give it to him. Um, and then you got two um, homosexual E's doing like, I don't know, the standing wall position. And um, they seem quite happy. And um, yeah, that's their thing. That's good, good, good on them. Um, uh, F is for fierce. Um, obviously, it's like a line. But um, I think the artist hasn't quite really delivered the message strongly enough. Um, this didn't look like a mane to me. This didn't look like a lion's mane to me. This looked like um, like red rooster, like a rooster's mane, if that's what it's called. A rooster's mane. And, um, that doesn't quite work. So I have to give a pass on that page. Um, G um, is for graffiti. I'll use the four because, like, you know, it's slang and it's, like, very um, hip-hop so to speak, and um, as you can see, Paul's like tagged his name here and here. Um, I guess in his youth he was a bit of a, a tagger if you say that, and like, you know, most taggers when they get turned like 30, um, you know, they've got like, to have like kids and, you know, pay for school children and whatnot. You know, they have to like go legit, hence make a children's book. Um, but you know, got like a rat here. Obviously that represents Banksy. So. What Paul could have been. Um, H is for hanging, and um, obviously you can see like a monkey here, and uh, he's hanging from a H, so that's quite cool. Um, and then you got like the hang down here, like hangman. So I thought that was quite a neat. I actually like that. I really like that. And the, but the only thing I don't, don't like on this page is this grip. I I don't understand what like he's trying to deadlift. You know what I mean? Like oof. Or something because that makes no sense. That's not a monkey's grip. A monkey grip's like further out, I think. Um, so that page is all right. Um, so I is for island, and obviously there's like a Hawaiian girl, as you can see, and um, she's got like flowers in her hair and like a little seaweed dress or something, whatever they have down here. There's like, like ships and stuff, and like whales, and there's like water ripples to represent. Yeah, you know, it is water, and. Um, Obviously, it's Hawaii because we've got like palm trees as well. And um, it says to let a J 2,000 miles. And as you can see here, it's like pointing east, and that's pointing east. So that obviously represents like America, like California or something like that. So, um, yep, that's quite a good page. I quite enjoyed that one. Um, J is for jazz. As you can see, he is playing a saxophone. And there's music coming out of here, and he's obviously playing jazz because there's like shit loads of notes everywhere and I can't stand a fucking thing because jazz stinks I fucking hate jazz but um I thought it's a little racist I mean I don't know any white jazz saxophone players I know it's probably like a thousand but they're just meant to be black so I think that's a little racist to be honest um K see the blue I mean the white sorry is for karate and obviously you know Karate is Japanese, 
and um, that's why they have like this flag here. I'm not sure you can quite see it. That's the Empire, I mean, the Rising Sun flag, and that's actually really offensive to people in like South Korea and like China. Like, that is like their military flag from like the Pacific campaign, and that's pretty offensive. Not to mention, like, this kid's not even like Chinese, he's like white. You can see, like, his eyes are like nice and round. Like, usually, if it wasn't so racist, it would be like just like a slit. So, um, and he's got a black belt, and that's just bullshit. Like, no eight year old's got a black belt, especially no white. Eight-year-old's got a black belt. That's just bullshit. Um, then we got L for lights. I don't know, but in Australia we have like lights like this. We got like your green and your other green here to like go right. Obviously, it's like the opposite to where you come from because we do everything like backwards down here, down under, I suppose. So um, I thought that was a pretty neat page. I quite like that. Um, M is for mountain. I would put like a apostrophe S here because it's obviously like two mountains here but um, other than that it's a pretty solid page um, N is for newspapers and here they got like the New York Times and a couple of like articles here and whatnot I can't read it it's a bit small fine print but um, I think that's a pretty solid page um, O is for owl and um, it's still got hoot hoot Obviously, and um, there's lots of O's here, to like in the eyes and whatnot, but it's sort of like an O here. But um, yeah, there's like nights and stuff, because you know they come out at night hours, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good page, I suppose. Um, P is for um, pretty. I don't know what's so pretty about a girl with like two massive pimples on her face, but um, I guess so. She doesn't look that pretty, to be honest. She kind of looks like that. I don't know, we had a girl called Rachel in my year who was like an ugly chick but she was like in the hot group so she thought she was hot if that makes sense I'm like every high school has like an ugly chick who's like in the in like the hot popular group but they're only in it and they're like sort of ugly but they think they're pretty and they're kind of like they're always in they're always in charge I don't know why it's really weird it's like Jermaine is like showing on Australian television but um yeah just google search that I suppose um this was the tricky one I was dreading this one and um yeah it's a fucking cost the fuck this one it's um Q for quicksand and it's shit like this is a, the worst page in the book but you know I can't really fault Paul on that because you know Q's a tricky word um it's got like danger here I mean who gives a fuck honestly like you think you put some sign up instead of like some random words and um, there's like a tongue here to do the cue and there's no outlining or anything so you, it's pretty hard to tell so it looks pretty shit and I don't really give a shit about the character at all to um, R is for rabbit kind of looks like Pikachu a little bit um, I'm not sure if rabbits sound like this he's kind of sounding like a dog to be honest but um, I like the colouring I think the yellow is a good effect on the black and um it's got a cute little thing here like the Playboy Bunny chicks have, like the little tail thing. That's kind of cool. Uh, S is for space. And um, I don't know why it's got a gun in space, to be honest. Like a little ray gun, but um, maybe it's going to kill that bunny later. I don't know. But it comes into a space range. But um, obviously this is obviously like the um, International Space Station. It's a bit, bit weird shape, but yeah. Has to be an S. So, um, yep. That's alright. Um, T is for trapeze. Um, I don't give a fuck. Um, and U is for underground. Um, so obviously this is like the British tube system. There's like British Parliament here, I think. I got no idea. And yeah, so it's like a U in the underground. Yeah. Um, V is for vicious, and as you can see here, that's done sort of like a. A big vicious dog. Kind of looks like a pit bull. More like an ASF. Kind of like my dog to be honest. Um, and obviously it's like red and it's very vibrant and um, very vicious. And uh, it's got teeth. So it's quite scary. And then here we got next one. I, got, I like that page. Next one we got um, W for wave. I, I got no idea which fucking like chemist waves with like two hands. But um. Obviously, he's, you know, a little flirtatious, I guess I say. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not really getting all that to be honest. The whole double wave technique. No. Yep, that's good. Um, and then you got X for X-ray. I'm not sure. It looks like a dick here, like this little outline of a dick. Um, and I'll see the cheeky side. And then we got Y for yoga. And I don't know why he's wearing Hello Lemon Lulu pants, or whatever the fuck you call them. But um, obviously he's a bit fishy. Um, a little bit on the other side. And um, Z is for zip. Man, these last three pages have been quite gay. I don't know. Is it go back? We've got, we got like X ray. No, wait, wait, go back in further. Sorry. 4 W. Like the gay chemist. Like he's got double hands up. Like what's all that? Like maybe he's getting some like anal nitrate or something for you. I got no idea. And then you got like the young bottom. Like the X guy. <laughs> and then you got like this weird. This weird pedophile type creep who's wearing like the yoga pants and shit. And then you got like a zip. So I'm not quite sure what's going on in this guy's head. Um, I thought that was a pretty good book. Picked up for about $20 at a bookstore. That fat. Um, and that's um, Paul Thurberry um, and his outfit. Thanks for watching.